This video and series of sped up clips is how I've replaced Meccano Bridge. It was quirky, it was fun, but it didn't work. Originally, the bridge was simply to extend the head shunt at Horn and Trumpet, to give access to the maintenance depot you can see in the background there, and to act as a storage siding. As you can see during the dismantling process, it had some serious flaws. Either the bridge was pushing the track up and knocking it out of line, or the track was bending down and holding the bridge up. I could not get the adjustment correct. So once the railway became a circular route and the bridge was needed for through trains, including live steam, which are heavy locomotives, I did need to do something different. I found some offcuts of timber, roof battens, and a piece of the decking that I didn't use when I rebuilt Vogelscheid Syncline. There was enough to make a bridge, so I set about cutting them to shape. It was going swimmingly well. And then the heavens opened, including thunder. It didn't last too long. I could get to work in my outdoor workshop also known as a patio table. This saw has now died, unfortunately. I think I almost killed it cutting the gap in the sleepers to make the extension, and doing this job finished it off. Fortunately, I've got about four spares. With the railway now hanging unsupported, it's easy to see where the problems arose with Meccano Bridge. I offered everything up to make sure that it fitted before I did the final cutting to shape. Had to get rid of another bit of chain which was a bit left over from the previous incarnation of the bridge. It's here that I spotted something that had made the original Meccano bridge such a problem for keeping stock on the road, or on the rails. I built a sort of metal box to contain the ballast at the end there on the right of the picture. What I hadn't realised was that the sleepers were resting on the edge of the metal and not floating in the ballast. This is causing that hump you can see towards the left of the, not riveted there screw, but the bits of mild steel on the side there. And the trains were derailing on that because it's quite a sudden bump, I suppose, in the road, it's like a speed bump. If you go over it too fast or at all, it'll have you off. A fair bit more sort of fiddling around and jiggling and pokling, words I use anyway, to get everything at the right levels. Checked everything after I'd done this with a spirit level, that's the circular one that lies across the rails, and the long stick of truth that's used to see how things are generally. The, the incline's inevitable going from the one height to the other. I can't do anything about that. But what I can do is try to smooth out the transition some more.
lots of measuring and trimming and so on here. What you can't see is that I've trimmed off the corner of the bit of the decking board. Did that in the workshop. Thought I'd filmed it, but I hadn't because I'd filmed my elbow. And now I'm getting the sturdy roofing button in as uprights for the bridge. This will be screwed in place on the old railway sleeper you can see on the left there. And it will be screwed if I can to the end of the board on the right. Whatever way around it is, the bridge now actually holds the truck up without pushing it out of alignment. I'm in the workshop doing some final smoothing of the rough edges and putting the legs on, or the leg on at least one end. The other end will be attached to the wall once it's outside. And yes, I am wearing permanent way crew high visibility jacket all the way through this. I do use it on the real permanent way sometimes up in Ravenglass, but most importantly, it's my warmest and most waterproof winter coat. So I use it in the garden and at the allotment. quite so much of a nerd as to wear real railway equipment when I'm outside with my toy railway. And there we have it, the newly relocated horn and trumpet sign, the bridge completed, and there we are. We can see the middle structure, which I didn't manage to film before, in place, and some trains running over it. I'm pretty pleased with this as a result. There's some fettling still to do, to try and get trains to run in the clockwise direction because it's still quite a steep gradient climbing into the bridge there trying to find a few ways to even that out which since I've made this film I have done Lochran so far is the only of the live steamers that can put a fully loaded train up the hill I conducted a little social media poll as to what should I do with the bits of Meccano Bridge the end result you can see here a memorial to all the miners who made the railway both necessary and possible, the angel of the feck. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed another bit of my weird and wonderful silliness. Bye now.